Hey, gals and guys, it's Christopher Mosier from MyMediaHelper.com, and we're talking docking stations today, and I just posted a video about HP docking stations, a particular HP docking station, and this time I'm doing New Kensington. This particular Kensington, and I'll put it in the description, is the SD475 OP USB-C and USB 3.0 dual 4K docking station. Uh, there's a lot to say. Um, I can tell you right off on these docking stations, they do break. Um, they do do funky things sometimes. I have a Kensington docking station I've had for a year and it's, it's perfect. It's fine. It's never gone down, but I've replaced a lot of these and, um, they are kind of funky. If you're going to go with a docking station, I would go with that HP of the video that I just, um, post. I'm going to post both these videos at the same time. It's a good docking station. It just seems kind of funky, um, sometimes. So this is what, um, uh, this is the box that will come in and once again i'm not going to unbox it i'll show you and again i'm not sure if this is what the consumer box is um we get a lot of these so i don't know if it's just for commercial boxing i don't really know to tell you the truth but um there's the kensington right there it comes in like that. and then you got your power cord and then the uh cord that you would plug into your um, pc which i'll, I'll show you in just a sec <clears throat> Now, with that said, that's one of the good things. I mean, it's not the only one of the good things. Kensington is not a bad docking station. Um, the one of the good things, which I'll show you in just a second, um, here's the power cord. So again, same as same as the HP. I like how it's um, it's a two unit thing. It's not all in one. All right, and then we'll get the sucker downstairs and plugged in. Actually. And just as before, I'm going to assume that you know how to plug in a plug <laughs> on a power supply. So I am not going to film that. So I'm going to disappear for just a few seconds. And I um, want to go down and plug that in. All right. Entertain yourselves, lovely. Lovey. Oh. And I hope I plug in the right one because I got two down here now. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> All right. All right. And I'll put this part in here. And the blue light is on, so that means we've got power. Right. Ooh. All right. And then, um, so here's your peripherals. You got um, on this particular one, the HP only has two HDMI. This one has two. Uh, is that what I just said? The HP has one HDMI, this one has two, and just as, uh, as the HP I just did, this has uh, two D ports, your uh, monitor displays. So you can actually, if you want to, you can do four monitors with this particular docking station. So that's a, um, that's a plus over the HP. Um, so actually, let's plug these in to start with. Well, I, let me do this first, actually. So another good point of the Kensington's is this is separate. So as I described before with the HP, this cord is actually built into the HP. So if something goes funky with that cord and it never has, I'm not saying um, anything ever had, I've replaced a lot of both of these and that, that situation has never happened. But if something does go funky with the cord, you could simply just replace the cord. So that's a positive on there. And for some reason, this cord fits into the back of the Kensington. This cord fits into the front of the Kensington for whatever reason. The front does not work um, with any of our laptops. You have to plug it in the back. I have no reason why, or I have, I have no idea why. I've never looked it up, and I'm not really sure why there's in the front and the back. So I don't know. And there's also a USB in the front here, and there's four in the back. So I think that's one more than, um, yeah, one more than the HP. And then you've got your, uh, your uh, Ethernet for your internet connection, unless you're using wireless. And this is just uh, an adapter. You don't necessarily need it. We don't use it. All right, let's have some of this. So let's put our peripherals in here. All right. So our D cables. So like I said before, if it's not fitting, <laughs> flip it and it will fit. All right, and you can put your um, your keyboard and your mouse and whatever else you need to uh, right there. All right, and, and then this piece goes in 
So <clears throat> these are all universal. Both the HP and the Kensingtons are universal docs, so they will work on um, Macs. They will work on um, PCs. All right, this is just happens to be particularly a Dell, so a PC, a laptop, but they will work on both. And let's fire up and get her going. So I can show you that it does work. All right, what's going on with my... All right. Ooh. Okay, I'm showing um, two displays right now. You can show a third or a fourth if you're gonna use two more HDMI cables. Um, we will show a third. If we open this up, see how the three pops up. I'm not sure if you can see it on an angle, but um, third pops up. So you can use three screens if you want to use your laptop, or you can close your laptop. And just that's usually what we do. Let's just use the two uh, laptops. So it does work. Um, it does work. I've replaced a lot of those. So if I was a consumer, um, I'll have to look at the price points and put them in the description based on. Um, it could be a pro or a con depending on the price. I can't imagine there are ones any more expensive than the other so much that you would make you not purchase something. But uh, Kensington is a good doc. If I was to um, talk to someone in a bar or something or in a restaurant or a friend or something, I would definitely go with the HP. Um, it's a much more sturdy unit and um, it doesn't break down as much. All right, gals and guys, let's see what we got here. Um, Trying to think what else to tell you. Yeah, that's. All right, I'll have to figure it out. So, all right, girls and guys. So, to finish up for our second video, you got your HP here, you got your Kensington here. Um, I would recommend purchasing this. I'll have to see what the price points are. Like I said, it's not a bad docking station. I have replaced a lot of them. Um, they seem to, to go down. Um, on, you know, if there was a race and race, I mean, HP's ahead, right? So I appreciate you as always. And please, if you could, please subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate that. I hope this, these uh, two reviews are helpful for you if you're out there um, trying to decide what docking station. Um, you want to purchase so please subscribe and please share if you have a friend who's looking for a docking station and needs some advice papers and please like if you like this video like it anyways damn it it'll help the uh, youtube algorithm and uh, get my video out there and please hit the bell i know i'm giving you a laundry list of things to do but hit the bell um, so you can get my updates uh, for my other videos and i appreciate you as always thank you very much gals and guys and i will say <laughs>